Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trix here, back with a Dry Loss video. And most of you guys have probably read the title of this video, and you guys are probably wondering, what, Dry Loss can come back? Like, is there a way to bring it back? And then some of you guys were like, nah, this game will never come back, it's dead, and there's no way that it will make a comeback. And to basically explain the title of this video, I don't mean Dry Loss the game, like, this game that I'm playing right now on my phone, and the game that's on your screen right now in the video, like this game, like it's gone. There's no way to bring this game back. Once the company decides to shut the game down, it's almost impossible to reverse that decision. There's no way to change that. This game will never come back, like there's no way to save this game. I'm just telling you guys the cold hard truth, there's no way that this game can be saved. No amount of money will be able to bring this game back, like if someone donated like you know, 10 million dollars to side games right now to try to keep this game alive, that wouldn't work. Like, maybe they donated like a hundred million dollars or one billion dollars, maybe. The chance of that happening is slim to none. So there's pretty much no way to bring this game back. So, what I meant in the title of this video is that even though Dragali Lost the game is shutting down, the Dragali Lost IP, or in simpler terms, the Dragali Lost franchise, or Dragali Lost itself basically, can come back. And what I mean by that is that there is a potential for this game to get a remake or a sequel of some kind. Dragalia Lost shutting down is not a 100% end to Dragalia Lost in general. There could be some potential games or the potential other medias like an anime or something like that or maybe an MMO or a console game. Like you never know. Even then it's not guaranteed. But in this video I'm gonna tell you guys what you guys can do to try to make that a reality and to maybe increase the chances of that happening. But before I get to that, I'm gonna start the quest to grind some materials. That way you got some like gameplay in the background and it won't just be the menu screen the entire time. So I'm gonna be grinding the Surtur's Devoured Flame. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I kind of want some of the materials. I think they're dropping the Primal Brunhilde fight, maybe? I'm not sure. Is it like Primal or is it like Primordial? I don't know. They had the one with regards to her, so yeah, I think Mim is getting her Primal something form or Primordial form, so I kind of want to grind that and try to get some more materials. Work on my water weapons, that way I'll be prepared for the fight. So yeah, I'm going to put that on auto and I'm going to do maybe like 50. Hopefully I can say everything I want to say in this video in 50 runs. Chances are I probably will, but you never know. I always tend to ramble on to to start the fight. And yeah, I'll put that down and let it go. And hopefully I don't die because <laughs> I don't want to be distracted when I'm making this video. I'm going to try to keep this video as simple and straightforward as possible. And I kind of thought about what I wanted to say in this video for a while now. And I don't have a script and there's no bullet points or anything like that. I'm going to speak straight from my mind. Hopefully I can say everything I want to say in this video. And if I forget anything, I'll leave it in the comment section below. And to basically reiterate what I just said, you guys lost the game, like this game playing right now. There's no way to bring this game back. Like it's done. Like it's a rip. Like it's over. And once a company makes a decision, the chance of that decision reversing is probably like almost impossible. So yeah, but just because the Dragali Lost game is shutting down doesn't mean that Dragali Lost in general is over. Dragali Lost the franchise slash IP can still continue to live on and they can potentially make some other games and stuff like that and all the media in the future. But yeah, any future Jugali Lost stuff all starts with you or us in general. And what I mean by that is that we gotta show them that there is a player base that still likes Jugai Lost and wants to see more from this IP. And what I mean by that is that you and I, we have to show them that we want more Jugai Lost stuff in the future. And in general as a whole, we need to show them that there's a player base or a fan base that wants to see more of Dragalia Lost. And we're very lucky to live in an age of social media where we can easily communicate with companies and let them know how we feel about a certain product, stuff like that. Like you got Twitter, you got Facebook, you got YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Like there's so many social media websites you guys can use to communicate to companies like specifically Nintendo and Psy Games in Jukai Loss's case, they had multiple ways to show Nintendo and Psy games that we want to see more of Jukai Loss. And the simple, most bare bone, and the most easy and lazy way, I guess, is to just play the game. Just play the game every day until it ends. If you guys don't want to do any of the social media stuff, stuff like that, just play the game. Like, that's the easiest way to show them that you want to see more of Jukai Loss. And you guys are probably wondering, like, how would that even help? Just playing the game, how would that even help show them that you want to see more of Jukai Loss? And it's very simple. Once Psy Games or Nintendo, when they released that tweet on Twitter and a notice in the game saying that the game is shutting down, they assumed that most people are probably gonna drop the game and stop playing because there's no point in playing. Like the game's shutting down, there's no point in putting your time into a game that's gonna be gone in like a couple of months and all your time and effort is wasted. So that's what they expect. So if we can keep that player base count the same or more than it was prior to that announcement up until the end of this game. Nintendo or side games are gonna be like, huh, like, 
still actually a lot of people who still play this game and maybe we're giving up dry loss too early and then once they have that thought they might be like huh maybe if we remake this game and fix most of the problems that this game had and re-release it maybe there might be a chance for this franchise or IP to grow and become something even bigger. That's a thought that they could potentially have. Something as simple as just playing a game, all of that can happen. So if you guys really care about this franchise and this IP and you guys want to see more of Jugai Lost, but if you guys are lazy and you guys don't want to put in the extra effort to doing other things, then at least do that much. Like, at least play the game. Like, I'm calling you guys out. Like, I'm one of those people who are lazy, so I know how you guys feel, but I'm calling you out. Like, at least just play the game. If you guys really truly care about this IP and you guys want to see more from it, just do that. The bare minimum. Just do your dailies like for 5 minutes. That in itself is already enough. If you guys want to go extra, leave the game on for like an hour when you guys are like washing the dishes or something. Or you guys watching TV or taking a shower or you know, taking a dump. <laughs> like just leave the game on your phone and that's it. Like you yeah, don't have to play the game, just leave it on the menu. And that will count as you playing the game. Yeah, that's the bare minimum anyway. But if you guys want to go the extra step and go the extra mile, there's many other ways to show side games and Nintendo that you guys want to see more of Jugaya Lost. And like I said before, social media is key. And depending on what social media you guys have, I'm gonna use Twitter for example. You guys can make a tweet, one tweet every single day, and maybe at side games and at Nintendo or at Jugaya Lost saying, Hey, I would love to see a sequel to Dry Lost or I would like to see Dry Lost being remade or something like that every single day. You guys don't even have to post a unique tweet every single day. You guys can write one little tweet, copy and paste that every single day until this game shuts down. <laughs> it's that simple. You guys don't have to spend hours writing an entire essay on why you wanted this game to come back, stuff like that. Just one little tweet just saying, Hey, I like this game a lot. I'm gonna see a sequel. And then post that every single day until the game shuts down. Or if you guys want, you guys can post more of that after the game shuts down. And what's good about Twitter is that there's a trending tab. And enough people say the word Dragalia Lost. It might get on the trending tab. And that's also another way for Nintendo and Psy Games to see people's interest in Dragalia Lost. And I know for a fact it probably shocked them because Dragalia Lost is a niche game. And something like that will probably never get trending. But if we can get a trending, that would be insane. And it'll probably even shock Nintendo and Psy Games. So... Yeah, the chance of that happening probably slim to none. In order to get something trending, it really needs to be a collective effort, so it's kind of hard to do that. But going back to what I said before, just writing one tweet every single day at Games and Nintendo, telling them that you want to see a sequel, it's already enough. Like, we don't have to get a trending or like that. Like, the only time Dragali lost I've ever seen trend is when they post that tweet saying the game was shutting down. Like, that's the only time. And speaking of that tweet, go like and retweet that tweet. Because I guarantee you, that tweet is something that Nintendo and side games were looking at. I'm pretty sure that they were keeping an eye on that tweet to try to gauge people's interest in the game as well as reading all the comments, see what people thought about the game, and see how many people like this game and maybe want to see a sequel to it. So yeah, that shutdown tweet was probably the most important tweet that that Jugari Lost account had ever posted. So definitely you guys could like and retweet that tweet. Because the higher amount of likes and retweets you can get on that tweet, the more side games and Nintendo will notice that. So if you guys want to post a tweet every single day, at least just do that. Like, just retweet and like that. And also with Twitter, there's a lot of artists out there who play Jugai Lost. And if you guys are an artist and you guys have time or something like that, maybe draw like a little sketch of a character from Jugai Lost and, you know, post it on Twitter. Like, nothing fancy or anything like that. You guys want to go all out. If you guys want to, then go ahead. But even something as simple as drawing a sketch for Jugai Lost helps show the interest in the game. And who knows, maybe that artwork will bring some new people in who never heard of the series before. Maybe they'd be like, huh, I like this character a lot. Maybe I'll try out the game. And maybe they hear the game shut down. They'd be like, I don't want the game to shut down. I just started this game. And maybe they'll tweet side games on Nintendo and be like, I don't want the game to shut down yet. Please, like, make a sequel or something like that, you know? I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure artwork is probably something that side games and Nintendo do notice as well. Like, the more artwork for the game, the better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the higher-ups in Nintendo probably like seeing artwork of the game. Yeah, the more artwork that Jugari Lost gets, like, before the game shuts down, the better. But at the same time, making artwork takes a lot of time and effort. Yeah, that's not something that I would ask you guys to do. Like, if you guys want to, and you guys have the talent to do so, and the time to do so, then go ahead. Like, that'd be awesome if you guys could. But if you guys can't, like, that's fine. There's no need to go that far. Like, just a simple tweet would be good enough. And also, you guys don't have to be that great in drawing in order to make an artwork with Dry Lost. Like, if you guys want, you just draw stick figures. <laughs> and, this, and then, like, point an arrow saying that this is Uden or something like that. And that'll count as artwork. So, yeah, any artwork, whether it's good or bad, is better than no artwork. So, yeah, that's kind of, like, the extra mile you guys can go to. But you guys don't have to. Like, that's kind of insane. So, yeah, I would never ask you guys to do that. But, yeah, other than Twitter, there's also YouTube. Like, if any guys make videos on Dry Lost, continue making videos. Like, you guys don't have to post more than usual or something like that. Just post regularly. Like, you usually do. Like, if you guys do... One Dragalia Lost video a week, do one Dragalia Lost video a week. If you gotta do 
Twilight Lost videos every single day. To continue doing Twilight Lost videos every single day until the game shuts down. Making videos is also another way to show side games and Nintendo that even though the game is shutting down, people are still making videos on this game and still, you know, trying to bring content. And not only that, but also look at the view numbers and like numbers as well. And then if they see the videos get a pretty decent amount of views, they'll be like, huh, okay, so that's pretty interesting. Not only are people still making content on Dry Lost, but people are still watching Dry Lost content. And that's also a way to show them that, you know, you want to see more of the game. Not only that, I don't think it's possible, but when the Dragon Lost videos on the Nintendo Mobile YouTube account, I don't think there's a way to comment on that, so if there is, definitely comment and say that you guys want to see more Dragon Lost. But if there's no commenting, then maybe go like the, the most recent video or something like that. And also like the new videos that are going to be coming out, because I think there's going to be another banner coming out. I think by the time I post this video, it should be up by then. And also there'll probably be some like story updates as well, like story trailers. And they still continuing the stories. And there'll probably be another trailer dropping, previewing the, the next story update. Go on YouTube and like that one as well. The more likes that video can get, the better. Same if you guys use, you know, a site like Reddit. Continue using that Reddit. Continue making posts. Continue making comments. Continue making like dry loss memes and stuff like that. Like all of that helps. When it comes to showing side games and Nintendo interest in dry loss. Because like, I'm pretty sure side games and Nintendo probably looks at the... Dry Lost subreddit. I don't think they look at it often, but occasionally they probably, you know, pop in here or there to see what's going on and see how the player base is doing and see what the player base is thinking. So the more active the sub is, the more it might convince them that there might actually be a player base that want to see a sequel to Dry Lost. And same thing applies to all the other social media websites out there like Facebook. I'm not sure if Dry Lost even has a Facebook account there or Nintendo or Side Games has a Facebook account, but I think Instagram they probably have it or TikTok, I'm not sure if they have TikToks, but everything I just said before applies to those social media. Continue making Facebook posts or continue making TikToks on Dry Lost because they're doing that. So besides social media, there's also other ways to contact Nintendo and side games. Like you guys can email them, but at the same time, I'm not even sure if there is an email to email, I guess. Like, I'm not sure, do people even still use email nowadays? If there is an email, maybe write them one email every single day. Doesn't have to be a unique email. Just write like one email and then copy paste that every single day until the game shuts down and send it to side game slash Nintendo and then tell them to pass it on to like the higher ups or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, the most direct way to let side games slash Nintendo know, or I guess mostly Nintendo's case because Nintendo runs this, but in the game, there is a way to leave feedback. And although it's mostly customer service people, you probably will see that feedback. There might be an off chance that they might share that feedback towards the higher ups in Nintendo and Psy Games. And enough people post the feedback saying that they want to see a sequel to Dragon Loss or they want to see more Dragon Loss. The more that the customer service people might be like, wow, a lot of people are sending us the same thing. So I guess this might be important and they might have more urgency to send it up to the higher ups or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not sure how customer service works, but yeah, and I'm pretty sure Nintendo and Psy Game, they do read the, you know, customer service stuff and the feedback and stuff like that. So that's definitely a great way to let them know that you guys want to see more. And that's probably the best way to let them know. Yeah, if you guys don't want to do social media stuff, like I know social media is not for everyone, that's fine. But doing something like that, just leaving a feedback, telling me you guys want to see more Dragaya Lost. And like the social media stuff, you guys don't have to write a unique feedback every single day. Just copy and paste the same one that you wrote the first day and that will probably work. So yeah, all the little stuff like that, even though it didn't seem significant, if enough people do that stuff, it increases the chances of them seeing that and it increases the magnitude of how much we want a Dragai Lost sequel or more Dragai Lost. And like I said before, all of that starts with you. Say so the day that we stop caring about Dragai Lost is the day that Dragalia is truly lost. Or aka, that's when Dragai Lost is dead. <laughs> and there probably won't be any other, you know, future stuff on Dragai Lost. That ideology is kind of similar. If you guys lost a loved one, you guys will know. Even though they're gone, as long as they live in your memories and in your heart, are they truly gone? As long as you remember them, they will always live on forever. It's kind of similar to that, like, as long as you keep caring about Dragai Lost and wanting to see more of that game, and keeping that game in your memories and in your heart, like that franchise will never truly be gone. And if we keep fighting for it, there's always a chance for it to come back. Then also, the day that we stop caring about Dragai Lost is the day that Psy Games and Nintendo knows that we no longer want any more Dragai Lost content. Say, so yeah, don't lose hope. But when it comes to Dragai Lost, I'm not sure who owns the game itself. Like, I'm not sure if Nintendo owns it or if Psy Games owns it or they both own it. And if they do both own it, I'm not sure how much the percentage 
they both own it, but if Nintendo owns it, then I feel like there's a lost cause. Like, I don't think there's any way for Dry Loss to come back because I'm pretty sure Nintendo doesn't really care about Dry Loss. Nintendo gave up of so many, like, other franchises because they didn't sell well, so. So if Nintendo owns Dry Loss, all hope is lost. <laughs> but if side games own Dry Loss, then I think there is a chance for Dry Loss to come back in the future. If you guys didn't know, side games have a IP called Princess Connect Redive, which used to be Princess Connect, and they released that as... I'm not sure what the web browser game or like a mobile game, I don't remember. But they released that, and that game did horrible, like it didn't do that well, and eventually shut down. And once it shut down, they didn't give up on the IP. They worked on it, improved the game, made it better, and then re-released the game as Princess Connect Redive, and now it's doing really well. At least in JP anyway, like in global, it's doing all right. It's probably doing the same numbers as Dry Lost is right now. So <laughs> I'm not sure how long Princess Connect is, you know, still be around for. But I think it got at least like a solid year or two before we look at it and be like, eh, I don't think it's really worth it. But yeah, at least in JP, it's doing really well. And not only that, but it has an anime series everything like that. So yeah, they're kind of going all out when it comes to Princess Connect Redive. So if side games can do something like that with Princess Connect Redive, there's a chance they might do the same thing with Dry Lost and remake the game and make it better and re-release it as Dragai Lost 2 or Dragai Lost Redive or something like that. So yeah, that's why I hope that Psy Games own Dragai Lost. But the most probable thing is that Dragai Lost is owned by both Nintendo and Psy Games. So I'm gonna assume it's like 50-50. I'm not really familiar when it comes to like corporation stuff. So I'm not sure if it's possible, but maybe Psy Games, if they really truly care about the IP, they can buy Nintendo's share of Dragai Lost and own it themselves, remake the game, and then find someone else to publish Dragai Lost 2. Like, I'm not sure it's even possible, but if they could, then there's a possibility. So yeah, basically to summarize this video, the Dragai Lost that we know and love and have played for three and a half years, that game, there's no way for that game to come back. Once the company makes a decision to shut the game down, the chances of reversing that decision is slim to none. But just because Dragai Lost, the game is shutting down, doesn't mean that Dragai Lost is over. There still is a way to continue the IP and potentially get another future game on Dragai Lost, whether it be like a mobile game or a console game. Because nowadays side games are kind of looking into you know console games, so there's a chance for that, or it might be like anime or something like that, or manga. You know, you never know. And all that possibility starts with you. We need to show them that there is a player base that wants Dragaya Lost and wants to see more of Dragaya Lost. And the best way to do that is to continue playing this game until the end. The more people play this game, the more it'll show side game. That people still love this game and that they're willing to stick with this game to the end and that will show their loyalty and dedication to this game and maybe side games might think that they're giving up on this IP too early and maybe they'll make another game or do some other like media when it comes to Dragaya Lost some other ways to show Nintendo and side games that you guys want to see more Dragaya Lost is by social media like tweeting that you guys want to see more of Dragaya Lost but not only that but liking and retweeting the shutdown tweet that tweet the more numbers it can get the better it will be not only that, but liking and retweeting every single tweet as they tweet after the shutdown tweet, that will also help as well. And then making artwork with Dry Loss if you guys are artists, then you guys have time. Or if you guys do YouTube, continue making YouTube videos. Or if you guys, you know, posting on Reddit, keep making Reddit posts, keep that sub active. Or you guys make fan websites, that's another good thing, like keeping those websites up. Having more resources for Dry Loss will be awesome. When it comes to like keeping fan websites, like it does cost money, so do because you guys want to, not because you guys have to. But the probably the best way to let them know that you guys want to see more is by using the feedback option in the game itself. Like there's a way to talk to customer service and let them know what you guys think about the game and what they can do better. And just tell them that you guys want to see more Dry Loss. And chances of side game and Nintendo seeing that, they probably lot greater than anything else but yeah the bare minimum the most lazy and easy way to show you guys care about this game is just by playing the game just play the game simple as that spend five minutes do your dailies or if you guys want to go extra mile put the game on and then do something else like if you guys are doing chores you guys can do that while the game's up or if you guys want to play a console game on the ps4 or ps5 like just leave the game on on the side and just play that instead or if you guys are doing homework going to school taking a shower taking a dump like i don't know what do you guys want to do like yeah, just leave it on. Because even though you're not doing anything, like, it still counts that you technically playing the game. There's something as simple as that shows that you guys want to see more of Dry Lost. But for me, I'm going to still continue making Dry Lost content. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon until the game shuts down, obviously. Like, there's still so many things I want to do in this game. So many bosses I still got to fight. Like, I still have been stretching out the boss fights by doing, like, the the lower difficulty boss fights. But, but now that the game's shutting down, I'm going to go straight right into the, the harder stuff, like, the hardest difficulties and no longer will I be doing the expert stuff anymore I'll go right into the master mode or legend mode or 
whatever mode they have in the game now. So yeah, I still gotta beat four Akito bosses. I still gotta beat like five of the Dominion bosses, like this boss right here. I still gotta beat Primal or Primordial, like Midgard Summer, and possibly Brunhilde. If they decide to release that, hey, there's still so much content I still gotta do in this game, and still so many things that I gotta do in general before the game shuts down. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna be playing this game like a lot more than I have in the past. Just to try to do everything I want to do before the game shuts down. And that way I can end the game with no regrets. And then whenever I tweet I posted a Dragai Lost video, I want to be, you know, doing hashtags like Dragai Lost 2 or Dragai Lost Remake, stuff like that. Essentially showing them that, you know, I want to see more of Dragai Lost. Not only that, but I'm going to try leaving a feedback every single day in game, letting them know that I want to see more Dragai Lost. And I'm most likely going to increase the frequency in when I post Dragai Lost videos on YouTube. So I used to post Dragai Lost videos every of the week but now i'm gonna try to post it every week until i beat every single boss in this game after that i'm not sure we'll see but yeah i'm definitely making a video reacting to the last story update in this game for sure as well i'll be posting one last dragai lost video on a day that it shuts down as well as if i have time then maybe i might read through all dragai lost story on video with you guys like i, I don't know we'll see i did have a kingdom of union cross and the only reason why i did that is because kingdom of union cross like the story is important too the Kingdom Hearts franchise, so I kind of had to read through the story. So I kind of thought it'd be nice to do it on video and kind of do a let's play on it or let's watch on that because I'm planning on let's playing all the Kingdom Hearts games. That's why I felt like I had to do that. But when it comes to Dry Lost, I don't really have to. So if I have time, I'll do it. If not, then I might not because it'll probably take forever to read through all the stories. So yeah, but definitely the last chapter for sure. But it's kind of about it for this video. Like, I probably so many other things that. I want to talk about but I probably didn't remember so if I do remember it I'll write it in the comment section below but this video is something I've been dreading to make for a few days now like I didn't really want to make this video but at the same time I really want to make it because I really like Dry Loss and I really like making Dry Loss content and I felt like this video was something that I had to do because when I first started doing Dry Loss content I didn't think it would do that well like I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it much as I did and after playing the game for so long doing so many videos and you know, playing the game in general, I had so much fun. And not only that, but you guys watching the video right now. The Dry Lost community was so nice to me when I first started. A lot of nice comments, a lot of people watched my videos and stuff like that. And I kind of felt like I owed it to you guys to at least make a video talking about what you guys can do, try to keep this IP alive, as well as, as, well as continue making Dry Lost videos until the end because you guys were so nice to me. Like, you guys clicked on my video and watched it, even though like, you guys didn't know who I was. Like, you guys gave me a chance and... I just feel like that I owe it to you guys to at least continue making videos until the end. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going on that Dragai Lost grind and playing the game a lot more than I usually do. Just to make more content for you guys. But yeah, not only just for you guys, but for myself as well. Because I really like this game a lot. So don't think I'm just doing it for you guys. Like, I'm also doing it for myself as well. But mostly for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my Dragai Lost videos for the three and a half years I've been doing it. It means a lot to me. And I really do hope that I was able to make you smile and laugh and entertain you guys for how long i've been doing these dry loss videos for so yeah thank you guys so much for everything like you guys are the best i want to miss dry loss content because a lot of people seem to like it and it kind of stinks that i will no longer be able to do any more dry loss videos but i do do a whole bunch of other content as well so if you guys interested in that then definitely check it out like i do kingdom hearts content genshin impact content or the geese content i'm doing a little more master duel now I might replace Dry Loss with Punishing Grey Raven, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. There are a lot of games I play, so definitely if you're interested in those games, it'd be great if you check them out, but if you guys don't, then it's fine. Like, I'll never force you guys to subscribe or check out any of my content. Like, do because you want to, not because you have to. But even though with all the things I said in this video, it's still not guaranteed that Dry Loss might come back in the future. Maybe this might truly be the end of Dry Loss, so you never know, but at the same time, like, you gotta give it a shot. Like, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. That's why I'm gonna try my best to do whatever I can to let side games and Nintendo know that I want to see more Dragai Loss. Because, because I don't want to have that regret of knowing I could have done more to keep this IP alive. So I'm not okay when it comes to having those type of regrets, but will you? Are you okay with having that regret of knowing that you could have done more to help keep Dry Lost IP alive? But that's just me anyway, like I'm built different, so <laughs> that's how I think. But for those of you who think that all this is like a waste of effort, like there's no point, there's no way to continue Dry Lost, it's the end for this IP, you might be right. Like, this IP might be over, there might not be any more Dry Lost content, but at the same time, you kind of underestimate how much a few kind words of support 
can really motivate someone. I'm living proof of that. Whenever I read supportive comments on YouTube, like that motivates me so much and motivates me to be even better than I was yesterday and to try to be great and make the best content I possibly can and content that people want to watch it yeah, don't underestimate that like you never know how much those few words could mean to the people who work on dry loss and how much it will motivate them so yeah but then again like I said before I'm built different so maybe the way I perceive supportive comments might be different than other people like <laughs> I don't know but anyways as you guys see right there my phone died because I only had like 50% battery when I'm making the video and the video is super long like an hour long I did not expect to ramble on this much, so I'm gonna end the video right here. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed. But yeah, definitely, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well as all the dry loss videos I've done in the past three and a half years. It's been a blast. I had so much fun with you guys. But yeah, I was making a summoning video on dry loss. I think like the the last summoning banner, I'll probably be summoning on that one. And I'll talk about what I think about dry loss shutting down. I didn't really want to talk about it in this video because I want to keep it straightforward and just talk about how we could as a player base let side games and Nintendo know how much we want to keep this IP alive so yeah I didn't want to deviate from that but yeah there's probably a whole bunch of things I want to say in this video that I probably forgot. Like I said before I'm going to leave a comment down below if I forget anything. You basically got like four months to show Nintendo and side games how much you want more dry loss. So let's do our best the next four months to let our voices be heard and let's do this together. But anyways that's kind of what I did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and yeah thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.